Hello everyone, it's good to see all of you again and today not only that we're going to cook a beautiful fish but I'm also trying to practice zero waste in cooking. So let's start our preparation. The beautiful fish that we're going to cook today is what we call a red sea bream. Um, a lot of people including myself would think that this is a snapper. Technically, this is actually a bream family and not uh, exactly a snapper. There are actually a many species of um, this kind of uh, red sea bream uh, in Taiwan and in Japan. The famous, of course, is the madai, which is zhen tiao in Chinese. And this particular one doesn't look like it's a uh, madai, but I could be wrong. So without hesitation, let's start to clean up the fish further and then we can start the preparation for today's cooking. Now we will start um, filleting the fish. First, I like to cut the fins because it makes the filleting a lot easier. Next, I will take off the head. Start filleting the fish. We are not going to waste the fish bone, so I'm going to cut the fish bone into three parts first. The sea rim head is very, very, very tough. So um, use a strong knife as well as um, try to use a kitchen towel or uh, kitchen paper to hold it. Okay, now I will cut this into pieces. All right, a bit of work, <laughs> but uh, this is more or less is done. So now let's start the preparation for the uh, some of the other ingredients, and then we are ready to cook both dishes. First, we will prepare the soup base. The water is boiling. I put in some dry seaweed. Then I have some leftover carrot from previous cooking. I'm going to use them. While the soup base is cooking on the other side, I will now just um, make use of the remainder of the um, fish that we have done. Or rather, we have cut up. As I say, we're not going to waste any of the ingredients. So what I'm going to do is just to lightly fry them for a while. 
Of course, it's best if you have a griller to grill them. But I do not have a grill over here. So I'm just going to use pan to help me to just uh, lightly fry or what I call pan grill in this case. So even the steam is not wasted. You just need to cook it till like you know it's uh, you can see that the most of the flesh is no longer transparent. Eventually we will transfer all this into the soup. I'll just remove them. Oh. Hmm. Okay over here the soup base is cooking really well. Okay. And um, what I'm going to do is just to put all these fish pieces into it. And basically that's almost done. That we do not need to really cook the fish for a long time. We want, a, I would say, a very light and mild soup instead of a very um, tasteful ones like how we cook uh, fish head bihun um, last time. So more or less this um, fish soup is already done. I will just put it aside first while we cook the other dish and then we can enjoy both dishes together. The second dish that we're going to make is uh, <laughs> fried rice which is some of you know is my favorite. So I'm going to put some garlic first. Next I will put in my egg. Then I'll put in the rice and in this case I'm using leftover rice. So as I say, this is like a no waste cooking. Next I'll put in the carrots. On. Beautiful. I will put in some crab stick, add some flavor and color to it. Uh, this is optional. Again, I just happen to have some left in my fridge. So the good thing about white rice is that you can use whatever you like and throw it in. No right or wrong, personal preference. We will add in the fish last because it gets cooked quite fast. Spread them nicely. Okay, notice that we have not added any seasoning. So this is time. This is a time where you will want to like a, have a quick taste of the rice. Mm. Okay, personally I like to add a little bit of fish sauce. This is to just to bring out the nice aroma and to give it a little bit of saltiness. It might not be enough, then I like to have use white pepper to add on to the nice aroma of the Fried rice. Give it a taste again. We need a little bit of salt. So everything is cooked to your preference. And notice that I do not use MSG. Sorry, Mr. Uncle Roger. I basically I don't like to use MSG for my cooking. I believe in trying to get the uh, natural flavor from all the ingredients with the help of like uh, seasoning like salt, sugar, fish sauce, pepper, etc. Okay, I think it's almost done. And the last thing that I would like to add is the spring onion. This is the last part. And then basically give it a quick stir. 
and after heat, you are done. Let's try to drink the soup first and taste it. Wow. Wow. The lime which is added at the last really make the soup very refreshing. And um, you notice that I did not add any salt or any uh, seasoning. Basically the soup sweetness and the saltiness comes from the um, firstly the sweetness comes from the carrot and the saltiness comes from the fish and the uh, fat that is coming off from the fish because we actually season the fish with salt and then you have the lime which adds on to the ah, refreshing taste oh beautiful okay and how about the rice we will eat as it is Mmm. Fried rice is my favorite. It's my comfort food. Oh. This balanced taste in terms of like I have the sweetness coming from the corn and the carrot, saltiness from the salt and the fish sauce. And the fish is texture is very nice as you can see. It's not like mushy. Mm. If you were to add, squeeze some lime onto the fried rice. I learned this when I was in Thailand. Mm. It's also very refreshing. Hi everyone, I hope that we can do our part in reducing food wastage. So this particular uh, video gives you some ideas what we can do with our leftover uh, ingredients that we have used. Especially for the fish, you know that you can use every single part of the fish and you can make a good dish out of them. So please try and practice this kind of uh, reduced food uh, wastage cooking and I hope to see you in my next video.